Hi there. Welcome to Techie. The purpose of this instructional video is to show you just how quick and easy it is to set up your jumping spider. Before you set up your jumping spider, find a suitable area to place it in. Make sure to place the jumping spider on level ground, as this will ensure optimal operation. Keep the ground around the jumping spider clear of obstructions and debris, such as leaves, bushes, and rocks, as they may hinder movement. The only thing that you will need to set up your jumping spider is a small screwdriver and four brand new fresh AA batteries. We recommend that you replace the demo batteries with your new fresh set of batteries. Do not install the batteries now. Please install the batteries when you are directed to during this setup. Your parts list is as follows. Module with spider, front foot, back foot, side feet, two each, and foot removal key. Take the front foot labeled A and match with the A on the bottom of the module. Press the front foot into place and you will hear a click when the foot is in position. Also, do the same for the back foot and side feet. Snap these into place matching B to B and C to C. Make sure that all feet are flush with the bottom of the module before you turn it back over. Place the module with spider in the area you plan on displaying it. Make sure it is on level surface. Keep the area behind the jumping spider free of obstructions and debris. Now lift the spider body wrapped in fabric until the poles are vertical. You'll notice two silver metal springs standing out of the module. Pull each spring back to attach them around each screw on the pole. The springs should be attached to each screw well so the springs do not easily fall off. Now, take your small screwdriver and open the battery compartment on the module to remove the demo batteries. Replace the four demo batteries with four fresh, brand new AA batteries, and screw the battery compartment cover back onto the module. Do not turn on the jumping spider just yet. Release the plastic tie holding the fabric around the spider's body. Pull the fabric down over the poles and module. You'll notice hook and loop fasteners underneath the fabric as you pull it down. The hook and loop fasteners attach to the corresponding fastener on the bottom of each foot on the module. Also, smooth the fabric underneath each foot before placing back onto the ground. Spread the fabric out across the module to keep the module concealed. Pose the spider's legs as desired to create a more realistic look. Also, you may need to add weight to the back foot of your jumping spider during use. We suggest using a brick or sandbag on the back foot of the jumping spider. This will prevent the spider from moving forward during normal use. One additional note for disassembly. You'll notice a small key attached to one of the feet connected to the module. Remove the key from the foot when your jumping spider has been disassembled down to the module and feet only. Turn over the module to find the two square holes right next to the A or B sticker on each foot. Place the end of the key into the square openings and push the key in while twisting and pulling the foot. This will release the foot and you will be able to slide the foot off while holding the key in place. Remember to place the key back on the foot once disassembly is complete. Now turn the switch on top of the module to on and let the scaring begin. For more information, visit our website at techiedesign.com and click on customer support for other helpful tips and troubleshooting. Also available are downloadable instructions and product setup videos. To purchase additional optional equipment, such as foot pad triggers for activation, external speakers, and replacement DC adapters, visit techieaccessories.com. Thank you, and happy haunting!